Okay, this is problem number three. Wastewater math. Sewergeek.com. This one, this question says, how does the area of a 72-inch sewer compare to the area of a 36-inch sewer? What's important is they're saying the areas. Um, they might word this different on different tests. Uh, how much more flow can a 72-inch sewer carry than a 36-inch sewer? You know, the same concept. What they're getting at here is the, the comparison of the size. And uh, what I'm going to do real quick is, and I've got the variables in blue just to point it out. It's not like they're going to do that for you on a test somewhere. But I'm going to convert these from inches to feet, which isn't necessary, but it's going to make the, the looking at the concept a little easier. 36 inches is 3 feet, 72 inches is 6 feet. So notice that this question does not state whether the pipe is square or round. And because you're comparing the two areas, if you're comparing the areas of a three foot round to a three foot or six foot round or a three foot square to a six foot square, the areas would compare, so it really wouldn't matter. But you can make them round and do the math. It takes a few seconds longer, but, but it doesn't make a difference. Um, so let's just take a look at the concept. Let's pretend this pipe is square. And I've got a square pipe that's three foot by three foot. And I've also got a six foot square pipe. So that's going to be twice as tall as the three foot, twice as wide as the three foot. So there I go. I've got a six by six pipe. So what you basically have is I've got three here, I've got three here, three here, and three here. So it's actually four times the size. The six foot is actually four times the area of a three foot pipe. And this is a pretty common mistake plumbers make. They think, well, I've got, I need a six foot diameter or a six inch diameter pipe, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to use two threes, so I'll just go one, two threes. And as you can see, two threes, we'll actually make them to scale just for fun. So I'll come out like this. So I've got two three inch pipes. As you can see that does not equal the area of one six inch pipe or three foot to six foot pipe. It's actually only about half, the, these two actually only have about half the area. This is to illustrate the fact that if you double the diameter of a pipe or the width or length of a square pipe, if you double the diameter of a pipe you're going to quadruple the area. So, and that's because, let's take a look at this, if this is a three foot by three foot, the area equals length times height, or length times width, whatever. I'm going to get the area of this guy is three squared, which is going to be nine. Three times three is nine. The area of this larger one is going to be six squared. Six times six is going to be thirty-six. Nine is four times thirty-six. So we beat that concept to death. Let's just take a look at the math on one and we'll compare them. Now what we can do before we start is we know that 36 is half the size of 72 so the area is going to be four times as large. So 36 would not be 50 percent smaller than a 72. It would be four times smaller. So what, what is that? 200 percent? I don't want my brain to work. It's not 50 percent. 72 is two times larger than a 36. We know it's four times larger. So you can just go through this. You don't need a calculator for this one. Right there, it's four times larger. Now this could have said 36 is four times smaller than the 72. You gotta read them and make sure you pick the right one. So we haven't picked up a calculator or done anything. We read the question and we go, okay, it's four times larger. Let's do the math. I'm gonna go uh, I'm going to take a 36 inch pipe and then a 72 inch and we'll compare them. And the area is equal to diameter squared times 0.785 
and I'm going to pretend they're round, and I'll do it both ways. Diameter squared times 0.785, so that's going to be 36 squared times 0.785, 72 squared, I'll go put the x instead, times 0.785. Same thing, I haven't done anything yet. So what is 36 inch squared? It's a lot. 36 times 36. Guess I gotta turn the calculator on for that to work. So 36 is going to be 1295, and then I'm going to go times 0.785 is going to equal 1017.36, and that's going to be that's inches, so it's going to be inches squared. The bottom one is going to be 72 squared times 0.785, and that's going to be 4,069.44 inches squared. Well, you can always see it's 1,000 over 4,000, it's going to be a fourth. So I'll just punch in the numbers anyway. 1017.36 divided by 4069.44 gives me 0 0.25 0 0.25 that means that the 36 is one-fourth the size of the 72 well I can invert that and I can just take 4069 divided by 107 and I can just do I can invert it and do the math or I can hit the 1 over x button x to the negative 1 button on my calculator and it would say it's going to be 4. So, it's 4 times larger than the 36. We could have just made it square and said 36 times 36 divided by 72 times 72. And we do the same thing 36 squared divided by 72 squared and it's going to be 0.25 or invert it and equals 4 I think we beat that one to death but it's an important one because it helps you look at these pipes and know what the substitutes are so if I was to have I needed a 16 inch pipe and all I have is a bunch of eights. Two eights do not make 16. You'll need four of them to make the area of a 16-inch pipe. 